or picture this. It is 7.30 in the morning, you're stuck in the traffic. Same route, same red light, same radio station playing the same old song. But what if you have your personal AI assistant that could curate everything you care about from the startup updates to the tech blogs you've bookmarked but never had a chance to read and turn all these into your audio digest. Today I'm gonna show you how to create your own content curation agentic workflow. So let's cut to the chase and get started. Before we dive in, I want to mention that all the prompts, steps, detailed and instructions shown in this video will be available on my blog. You can find a link in the description below. And for this workflow, we'll be using Make. It's beginner friendly and comes with a free tier. All the tools mentioned in this video have their own free tiers, which should be enough to get you started. Let me walk you through this workflow real quick. We got three main tracks here. The first track pulls your Substack blog list from Google Sheets gets the blog content through RSS, then use perplexity to turn these articles into a podcast script with added context from the web. The script gets stored in a variable for later use. The second track follows a similar pattern. It grabs X account you want to follow from Google Sheets, use Appify to fetch the recent post and let perplexity to do its magic and turn it into a script, which also gets stored in another variable. The third track brings it all together. It takes both scripts we've stored, use Eleven Labs to convert them into audio, and upload it to SoundCloud. And everything gets archived in Notion for easier reference later. The three tracks will run in sequence from top to bottom, and we will get something like this for a final result. Let's talk about the electrical grid constraints affecting US AI companies. This issue highlights the growing demand for power to support AI infrastructure. And remember, it's just a blueprint. Feel free to mix it up. You can swap out Substack RSS for the New York Times or other news sources, or replace X with LinkedIn or Reddit. The core logic stays the same. You can set this workflow to run automatically at a certain time or just trigger it manually when you need it. And if you're feeling lazy, I've dropped this template in my blog, which you'll find in the comment section. Just import it and set up your account and you're good to go. The first thing first, we'll set up a Google Sheets containing all our content sources, like X accounts and Substack URLs that we want to include in our podcast. Now let's dive into detail of our first track and see how each node is configured. The Google Sheets setup is straightforward. First, create a search row Google Sheets node, select from My Drive, and search your file name. Choose your Sheets name, and since we're working with headers in our sheets, make sure to select yes. Hit OK to run the test. You'll see it post all the rows from your document. And next up is our RSS node. Mix gives us two options. RSS watch is like your personal watchdog. It triggers action whenever new content drops. And RSS feed data just grab contents directly from the source like headlines, body text, and links. We're using RSS feed data here to pull blog content from Substack. And here's the handy trick. Every Substack site has a built-in RSS feed. Just add slash feed to any Substack URL and you're good to go. We'll take this Substack URL from our previous steps result and add slash feed to each one. You can also set up time filters. Like if you only want posts from December onwards, just set the date to December 1st, 2024. And for a maximum number of return items, it's exactly what it sounds like. I'm keeping it at three for this demo. And next is Perplexity. It is actually our AI agent here in this workflow. It automatically searches the web, verifies information, and generates content without your intervention. And by the way, if you're curious about Perplexity, I've done an entire episode about it that you might want to check out. To connect the Perplexity node, you'll need to get your API key first. Head over to the website, click on your profile, then go to the API tab. You'll need to add your billing information for this. Pro users get $5 in API credits every month, which is plenty for what we're doing here. Once you've got your API key, just paste it in and make it and you're all set. When it comes to model selection, Perplexity's API currently only support different versions of Llama 3.1. For our podcast setup, I went with the huge online model. And let's talk about prompt. 
or essentially teaching the AI to be our investigative podcast assistant. The system prompt set up as a professional investigator who digs deep into topics, starting with key points, adding news context, and exploring deeper implications. And the user prompt just tells it exactly what contents need analyzing. I'll drop all these prompts in the comment section. And next we have our text aggregator. Since we're dealing with multiple articles from each blog, Perplexity generates separate analysis for each one. Without a text aggregator, we have a response scattered across different operations. The text aggregator combines all these separate responses into one continuous text, giving us a complete analysis of the entire blog. Similar to previous step, we need another text aggregator. This one combines the analysis from different people's blog into one comprehensive text. When all the separate blog analysis are merged together, we get the first part of our script. The second track is a bit more complex, but the underlying logic is pretty much the same. Just like the first one, we start by pulling X accounts from our Google Sheets. Then we use Appify's Run Actor node. A quick intro to Appify. This is a cloud platform that crawls data from website. It can scrape content from X, LinkedIn, Reddit, Facebook, pretty much any sites you can think of. And here's a nice perk. Every registered users get $5 free credits monthly. To use Appify and Make, you need an API key. Just log into their website, head to settings, find the API and integration tab, create a new token, and paste it into make. And next we need to pick our X scraping bot or actors as Appify calls them. Head up to their store and search for this actor. This one is super cheap, just 25 cents to collect 1000 tweets. In the import section, you'll see tons of options, Twitter IDs, time frames, language settings. If you're curious, feel free to explore them. For now, just click on JSON and copy the text I've put in the comment section. And basically this tells the actor to grab Elon Musk's last 20 tweets between December 26 and 28, 2024. Hit run and check out the latest result. You can see all the info it pulls from X. And quick heads up, if your search finds fewer than 15 tweets, it automatically filled in the mock data. This is actually a part of their pricing strategies. They have a minimal charge per API call to cover their cost, even when the search returns fewer or no result. Back on the actor's homepage, click create task, give it a name, and we're done with our Appify setting. Heading back to make, select the actor we just created, and the JSON section paste in the same task we used before, the difference here is that instead of Elon Musk's name, we'll use the X account we pull from our Google Sheet. You can also customize the time period if you need to. In our workflow, the Appify Run Actor node needs to work together with a Get Dataset Item node. When we submit a Run Actor request from Make, Appify gets the request and create a task. The Get Dataset Item node then fetches the result from the task. Since this isn't instantaneous, Appify needs some time so we need to add a delay node. In our case, it's 15 seconds. This gives Appify time to complete its work before triggering the get dataset item node. And we can see this node outputs all the data from the X account. Once we have these tweets, they're ready for perplexity. But first, let's filter out some tweets we don't need. In the router, I set up filters to execute mocked tweets. And move into perplexity. This is similar to our first track, we just need to tweak the prompts a little bit. I've put the prompts I used in this knot in the comment section. The last two text aggregator knots works exactly like in the first track. It combines all the tweets and perplexing analysis into one X focus podcast script. Finally, we store this text in another variable and voila, we got all the blog contents ready to go. And now for the third track, this is where we transform all script into audio and then turn them into a podcast. First up, we need to get multiple variables node to fetch the final result from our first two tracks. For text to speech, we'll use 11 labs create speech synthesis node. Let's get the API key first. Head to their website, click on your profile, go to API keys, create a key, then paste it into make. For the voice selections, you can check out different options on 11 labs website and listen to the samples. Our distrust is very expensive. Just trust yourself. Then you will know how to live. One today is worth two tomorrows. There's power in looking silly and not caring that you do. In the text field, we'll input our final podcast script that we gathered earlier. 
let's create an upload a new track node. When we get to the file section, you've got two options, either stick with the default setup or customize the name by clicking map. Once you're happy with it, just click OK to save and then you'll get to hear the podcast. And now for the final piece of the puzzle, let's get everything archived in Notion. Create a Notion create a page node and then under create a page, choose into a parent page. Here's a little tip. Notion can be a little bit finicky when searching for pages. When you click on the parent page ID field, don't worry if your page don't show up right away. Just type in the name of the page you're looking for and then it will show up. You'll then add your title, set the type as a paragraph, drop in those two variables we saved earlier as your content and then hit OK. And just like that, we're done. Let's do a test run. Check out SoundCloud. Pivotal role in shape as we look ahead to 2025. It's clear that technology will continue to play a pivotal role in shaping our world. And over in Notion. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And here's something I learned while building this workflow. First, I had this misconception about XAI's Grok 2. I thought it could search all Expos freely, while it can do this on X website. It surprisingly cannot access tweet content outside of X. Another interesting discovery was about Notebook LM. I initially wanted to use for the podcast part, but after searching around, I found out they don't have an open API. This workflow could be even better if Grok's 2's API could search X content and if Notebook LM had an open API, but hey, we still managed to create something pretty cool. And that's all for today's sharing. If you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, share, or give a like. And if you have any specific workflow you'd like to see, Drop your idea in the comment section below. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.